the, uh, the, the main point about this approach of course design is a funnel approach that it starts really with the big ideas that are typically behind every discipline as they apply to this particular class level and this particular course. So we start with big ideas, then get gradually more specific. We move from big ideas to enduring understandings and eventually to learning outcomes. This is something that partially was developed by Wiggins and McTighe, uh, who felt this is the approach of backward course design. It starts with where we want to end up and then gradually breaks down things to more and more specific uh, elements. Um, things that I've added to it in particular is the notion of a, a course design document that systematically combines all the different elements of course design and therefore uh, provides much more information about the conceptual framework of a course than any syllabus does. Syllabi typically uh, just sort of uh, provide the bare basic information about a course and they are targeted at the students. The course design document is targeted at colleagues uh, and at yourself so that you're very clear about what it is that you want to accomplish. Um, the, uh, the big thing that I believe uh, this form of course design does accomplish is that it documents in detail how uh, the learning outcomes are ultimately aligned with what it is that you do in your course, all the way to the detailed kinds of activities that you're using uh, to have your student practice, uh, to uh, be effective on the learning outcomes that you are making them uh, pursue. Couple of things uh, come to mind right away. One is uh, we want uh, students to be motivated about a course design. We want them uh, to really uh, identify with what it is that they're learning. Therefore, this course design approach is also a um, approach that focuses on authentic performance tasks, mm -hmm. big tasks that uh, are framed in such a way that they at least look like the kinds of things that students would be doing in the real world once they have a job, once they work in their own profession. Um, so uh, those are large tasks that can be broken into smaller pieces, I call them building blocks, uh, that help uh, structure the course uh, over the whole uh, sequence of the semester. So uh, parts, building blocks, uh, are being uh, implemented uh, every few weeks in the course and students work towards these, then get feedback from the instructor, get feedback from the peers, so that they really practice what it is that they need to learn. Um, the other important uh, thing that uh, is generic and that lots of people are already using, but I sometimes see it not being used as much in higher education, is the use of rubrics uh, where, um, stud where faculty have to clearly define in advance, up front, what the performance criteria are for students on any given assignment, or on the main assignments, I should say. Uh, that really helps students uh, understand what it is that the faculty is after, and it helps them also uh, self-assess as they work on the assignments that they're given.